welcome to java forum now i am going to show you how to install red hat enterprise linux 8.9 on virtual box 7.0 with guest editions okay so uh, before uh, installing the red hat enterprise linux make sure that you have updated version of virtual box 7 so here i am using virtual box 7.0.12 which is the latest version uh, of uh, oracle virtual box okay now i am going to create one new red hat enterprise linux 8.9 virtual machine okay now i am selecting the destination folder where a uh, virtual virtual machine is getting stored next i am browsing the red dot enterprise linux 8.9 dvd iso file which i already downloaded from red dot website so you need to register with the red dot in order to download the iso file okay so select skip unordered installation uh, click the next button okay so i am allocating 8 gb ram and 4 cpu cores click the next button so i am allocating 40 gb uh, dynamically allocated virtual orders so finish so once again coming to settings uh, general so sorry system motherboard and check the floppy optical drive will be the first device in boot order pointing device will be usb tablet so network i am selecting host only adapter so i am going to install offline okay no i am not going to connect to internet okay so all are offline installation only so let us start the uh, virtual mission install red dot enterprise linux 8.9 click the so english united states will be the default language click the next button so select the installation destination software selection will be server with guy time and date will be i am selecting my locale root password so i am selecting i am providing the root password Okay, next provide a uh, login user and provide the password for that login user. Okay, done. So that's it. Uh, click the button begin installation. Yes, so installation is completed. Click reboot system. So accept the license agreement, finish configuration. So login. So English will be the default language. So start using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.9. Okay, so uh, next what I am going to do, I am going to insert the Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux 8.9 DVD ISO file once again. So before that I am adjusting my screen size. I am setting the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.9 DVD ISO file. So, uh, what I am going to do, uh, I am going to install some RPM packages uh, which is needed by VirtualBox Guest Edition uh, software. So, all the RPM packages are available in DVD ISO file itself in AppStream and BaseOS directories. Okay. So, check the AppStream and BaseOS directories. So no need to download from internet externally. All the RPM files are available in uh, 
DVD ISO file itself. Okay, so I am going to insert all the RPMs uh, in a single shot. So these are the RPMs. Okay, so I have provided the list of RPMs uh, in the description of this video. I think around 13 packages are needed as a dependencies for virtual box guest edition software. Okay, so all the dependencies got installed. I am ejecting the disk. Next, I am going to insert the virtual box guest edition CD image. So now I am going to copy the content of uh, virtual box guest edition CD image after and copy paste in local directory. So I am going to install the software locally. So I am not going to install the software directly from ISO file. So instead I copy the content locally and provide the permission. Okay. So make sure that you are logged as a root user, then only you can install all the RPMs and execute scripts, etc, etc. So now I am giving full permission to that uh, virtual box guest edition directory which I have copied now. Okay, next I am installing dot slash vbox linux edition dot run. So I am executing the script. So this will install the guest edition software. Okay, so guest edition installed successfully. So power off. So once again, I'm going to settings. Okay, I am enabling share clip and drag and drop feature. Uh, okay, next I am going to system motherboard uh, hard disk will be the first device in boot order. That's it. So two settings I have changed. Now once again I am restarting the RHEL 8.9. Okay, display. So I am adjusting my screen size. Okay. So open the terminal, I am execute some command. Uh, so I am copy, uh, copy the terminal output. So I can able to copy uh, the from uh, virtual machine to host machine and host machine to virtual machine. Both are working by direction. So which means that shared clipboard feature is working fine. So you can try uh, drag and drop feature by uh, enabling the shared folder. Okay. So uh, 